Guys, we haven't done one of these transmog comps for a long time. And now, less than a week away from Shadowlands, we're back doing it one probably last time for the NA. This is your last NA BFA transmog comp, guys. I want to see some really good sets. I want to see people prepared. And I want to see you guys looking good. I'm going to be honest. NA's been, EU's been styling on you guys for a long time. We can't keep letting that happen, guys. I'm part of NA, and I'm getting embarrassed for you. You can't let that happen. It's not going to be 39 Firelands Andes, okay? That will not happen. This is going to be a high-quality transmog competition with only the best people and the smartest and brightest and most brilliant and great people that there could ever possibly be. Oh, oh, come on! No! God damn it! Let's go. It's actually pretty good. Lunario, look at this. Okay. Yeah, this is really good. Using, obviously, Thor Dial, the legendary bow, the leggings right there from, I think that's the first season of BF, or sorry, Legion with the shoulders as well. And the, wow. This is some fucking Celestial Hunter shit with the legendary cloak, the belt there from Lord's Draenor, the chest piece from Mists of Pandaria first tier for shamans. Holy fucking the boots from Old Deer. Yeah, this is great. What do you guys think? I think this is nice, man. It'll be better if it's a Volpira. I don't know about that. I think this is really nice. And he's riding Invincible. I actually think the color... This is perfect. No, look at the colors. It's got the it's got the gold right there. With also the, uh, the blue right there. This is fucking perfect, man. This is the first time somebody's used Invincible and actually had it work. This is amazing, man. What do you guys think? Yeah, this is great. I, I feel like I'm in EU right now. This is amazing. Great fucking work, man. We actually have a good one right off the fucking bat. Lunaria, great job. All right, now let's see where we're going to go here. NA for the win? Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Warrior Fall from the Guild Survival Guide. So what we have here is a pre-order Andy. We've got the shoulders, the gloves, and the belt right there from the pre-order set. The chest piece and the legs from the Zandalar set that you're able to get over and doing the quests over in Zuldazar. And then the boots there from the tier 14 warrior set with the sword there, which is the, uh, that's a class order hall sword for arms warriors with the helmet there, which is a tyrannical gladiator's helmet for warriors as well. Now, I think this is an example of something that's almost really good. Like, it, it's almost really good. It's not that great, but it's almost really good. What do you guys think about it? Yeah, what do you guys think about it? You guys like it or not? But shit? No, I don't think it's shit, man. How's it shit? It's not shit at all. All right, let's see the mount. So using the Dread Raven. Hmm. I don't know, man. Like, it's pretty shit. It's Trash Can Andy. It's a 5 out of 10. I feel like the colors definitely work. Like, let's just make sure that we know about that. The colors are 100% great for this mount, but the problem is that it doesn't really match the theme. And the odds are, usually whenever you have people get on their mounts, they can't do either fucking one. They don't match the theme, and the colors don't match. They both fucking suck. So, considering this one at least does one of them right, I think that's pretty fucking good, man. Uh, alright. Good job, Warrior Fall. Let's go to the next one. Oh! Wow. This is... Shit. This is the Battle of Dazar War legs, boots, or sorry, boots, belt, and gloves right there with the tusks of Manoroth. I really like the chest piece there as well with the axe right there from Battle of Dazar War. Holy fuck, that's really good. What do you guys think? I like this a lot. The colors are good. All of the bones on it are good. Everything about this is fucking amazing. Gabby, this is great. Yeah, I actually really like this a lot, man. Yeah, chess piece is good. Yeah, this is good. I mean, the problem, though, is it's only, like, really a full set. Like, besides the Tusks of Manoroth, it's pretty much a full set, guys. I don't really know if that's something to really look forward to or get excited about. It, yeah, it's pretty much a full fucking set. Let's see the mount. I would get on the Underrock Krog if I had it, but you don't. That's all right. This set does look really good, but it might not be original enough to win. So I got something pristine. Wait, what the... This is a low fantasy 
This is like a hero that you would see in like a Conan the Barbarian movie. It's very basic, very plain, and I actually think that's good. Like, having very basic and plain stuff like that is totally fucking fine to me. It's clean, it's well-designed, and a lot of the pieces are fresh, and I like it. Now, obviously, it's not super original. Oh, come on. You can't ask them to pog for you. That's like cheating. Come on. Oh, my God. Okay, let's see here. It's simple, but it works. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know, man. Like, I think this does look pretty decent enough, though. All right, let's go to the next one. Bash Cutter, Lord of the Rain from the Guild. Number go up. We've seen Bash Cutter in here too many times. Bash Cutter has been in this raid a bunch of times. I don't know really how to feel about this set. There's a part of me that really, really likes it. Because if you look at the colors on it, this is a completely original set of gear. So you've got the Vindictive Gladiator's chest piece and gloves right there, which are from the first season of Legion. You've got the belt there and also the shoulders that are from Mythic uh, Nylotha. And then also the legs, the boots there that are from ICC 10 Man Heroic. The helmet there that comes from the Tuma Sargeras Offset Paladin Heroic set. And then the weapons there, which are the Fury Warrior weapons. I kind of like this. I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm actually impressed. Like, this is an unironic original purple set. We don't see that a lot. Like, most of the purple sets that are in this game are fucking dog shit. But this one's really, really good. What do you guys think? I think this is really, really nice. It's boring. It's a 10 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10. I think this is actually really good. I know some people might disagree with that, but I really think this is good. All of the pieces and all of the colors to it and everything about it works really well together, and I like it a lot. I think this is a great job, man. Yeah, good job, Bash Cutter. I like it a lot. Good work. Let's go to the next one. Oh, wait. Where's your mount? The Rylak from the Dark Moon Rares. Uh, what do you guys think? I don't. I think this is like an example of like purple. Just because you're wearing a purple transmog does not necessarily mean that you have to get on a purple mount. I think that it's not really quite ruined, but it's certainly not. It's certainly. I thought it fit well. How does it fit well though? I mean, really, how does it fit well? Like, the only reason it fits well is because it's purple. It, the eyes? But it doesn't have the same kind of eyes. Like, it, it doesn't. Like, you have... These eyes have, like, the... These are, like... You've got Sauron eyes on your shoulders. And this, this mount here has, like, just random fucking white eyes. There's nothing too special about that at all. Yeah, this is numbers go down. I'm sorry to say. Bash Cutter, this is a good try. I don't know if this is going to make it to the top five, though. Valara from the guild, scrawny grabbers. Those shoulders right there are from Lords of Draenor. The belt, the legs, and also I think, the, no, sorry, the belt, the gloves, and the boots there are from the Tomb of Sargeras Rogue set. And I don't even know where the chest piece and the leggings are from. And the helmet there is a Demon Hunter item as well. This is actually really interesting. Have you guys, have we ever seen something like this before? It's like chic? I don't know about that. But it's really good. Yeah, I think this is an actual original set. This is a straight up original fucking set. And we don't see original sets very often. When I use my mount, look at the color of the eyes and the color of the mount. Okay. The color of your eyes and the color of the mount. Okay. Okay. The colors don't really fit perfectly, but I do think this is pretty good. Yeah, I actually think this is pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. What do you guys think? I like it. Uh, I think it fits pretty well. I think the red colors on the mount definitely work, especially whenever she has green eyes and then the mount is also green at the same time. I think that's a win. It's not amazing. It's not incredible, but it's pretty good, Valara. Good job. Let's go to the next one. Sadiator, Fame Slayer of Nazoth from the guild, Indestructible. Great guild. Hmm. 
Got the Tabard of the Wrathful Gladiator, that's pretty rare itself. And then also just using a bunch of other random blue rogue items. And then using that helmet right there that I think comes from BFA. I don't know, I... I think this one's boring. Yeah, the only good thing about this is the fact that your eyes kind of match with the Tabard. I think that's probably the best thing about it. And the fact that your eyes, like you have three different colors on your face here, and all of those colors are basically on the Tabard. That is the only good part about this set. And I will admit, that is a very, very good part about the set, but I don't know if it's good enough. Yeah, it's too plain. All right, let's see the mount. Sad Eater, let's see the mount. Ooh. Sadiator's a gladiator. Uh, I don't really think that it fits. Like, it, it looks good. It's badass that he's got a gladiator mount. That's awesome. But does that really, is that really a winner, though? Just because you have a gladiator mount, does that automatically mean that you're a winner? I, I don't really think so. Now it's just showing off. Yeah, it's hard to say. I think Sadiator's just kind of showing off. I kind of agree with that. Uh, it's not necessarily amazing or anything like that. I like his Mog better now. Ah, it's hard to say, man. Oh, shit. That's the original fuck. Is that the Vicious Gladiator one? Ruthless Gladiator. I kind of do wish I got these back in the day, but back then I didn't really try a lot with PvP. I, I wish I had. If I had known that you were going to be able to get the Gladiator mounts on every character, I probably fucking would have. It does look really good, though. Congrats on the mounts. Yeah, he's flexing a little bit. Lava, famed Slayer of Nazoth from the guild. Indestructible. So... Using the old deer, uh, old deer weapons, the old deer belt right there. I don't even know what kilt that is. The shoulders there from, uh, those are the offset shoulders from Black Temple. The engineering goggles. And I think those gloves right there are from Wrath of the Lich King. I could be wrong about that. I don't know. Tyrion kilt. Okay. Uh, I don't know, guys. What do you think? It's meh. I don't think it's really meh. I just don't think it might not necessarily be amazing. I'll say that. All right, let's see the mount. What do you have for a mount? The colors do. The colors are unique. I don't really ever see somebody using those colors. The touring rocket. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this actually is pretty good. What do you guys think? I like it. Yeah, it's it's unique. It's different. Um, I don't really see a lot of people using it. And I don't know, like, I think the best part about this set is the weapons with the goggles. I don't know, do you guys agree with that? Like, the weapons, the goggles, and the shoulders all have the same colors on them, and that is really, really fucking nice. Everything else besides that is kind of mediocre in my mind. But that part, just by itself, is great. I love it. Lava, good job. Let's go to the next one. Jibu, Defender of the Shattered World from the Guild Indestructible. Hear my, hear my great tale, great warrior. I used to be the best warrior feared by many. However, in my last battle in BFA, I was finally beaten. I was resurrected by Bolvar Four Dragons of Death Knight. Sadly, I'll never be able to return as a true warrior. Okay. Okay, let's talk about this. The fact is that this is the exact same set that Bash Cutter had, but somehow it's worse. I have seen this set for two years. Bash Cutter has come into my raids for two fucking years using this exact same set. Wait, when? Uh, for the past two years. It's been quite a while. Now, the gloves right there, the, uh, the Island Expedition Offset, uh, Firelands gloves, those are pretty interesting. I kind of like them. But overall, I don't really think this is that amazing. Like, I'm just okay with this set. It's fine. But it's nothing really particularly special or different or crazy or cool. It just seems kind of boring and unoriginal. Uh, I've already seen this before. I think the gloves don't really fit very well. Everything else is relatively okay, and I do really like the helmet a lot, but I don't think that the gloves work at all. What do you guys think? Is it just because we've seen bash cutters so much with this exact same set? Didn't know you've seen it before? Yeah, we've seen a lot of these sets. I just don't really know if it's original enough for me to be like super excited about. Let me see the mount. It was between two mounts. Okay. All right, hopefully the second one's better than that. Don't let McConnell see that mount. He still doesn't have it. I guess Invincible's a little bit better. Yeah, I, I would say that Invincible is a little bit better, but it's only just a little bit better. Let's look at the next one. Oh. 
Oh. Using the Blood Elf Heritage Armor chest piece, the shoulders there, and also the gloves and the belt right there, all from the uh, uh, Throne of Thunder Mage Heroic set. And then the helmet there, I think that's the Cruel Gladiator set. Or not Cruel, excuse me. Uh, that's the Emerald, uh, what, what is it even called? Uh, Notorious Gladiator's Elite set. And Perdition's Blade. This came all the way from fucking Vanilla WoW. Molten Core. I really, really, really like the helmet and shoulders, and I really like the wings behind it. I think that is fucking good, man. What do you guys think? Is that a winner? I don't know if it's a fucking winner. What do you guys think? It's a 9 out of 10? I, I like this one a lot, too. I think that it's really clean. It's really well done. The only thing that I'm not a huge fan of is the fact that there's not really a lot going on with, like, the feet and the leggings. The offhand is proof of my conquest of the Waking City and allows me to hold dominion over one of the All-Seers. All right. That is pretty good. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll get it to you. Yeah, that is definitely pretty fucking good. I like it a lot. Good fucking job, Tormenting. Great fucking job. With that mount, it's a 10 out of 10. I think that the colors on the mount are really, really good. Especially because they're the exact same colors that are underneath his shoulders. I like that a lot. Good fucking work. Therfeud in the Light of Dawn from the Guild Raiders of the Dawn. I don't know, man. Like, the, the so that's Warlord's Raynor belt, legs, and boots there. And then also the shoulders. The helmet there comes from, I think, the PvP season for this current season. The weapon is Queldalar, which comes from the Battered Hilt. And the gloves there are just five-man gloves from Wrath of the Lich King. And then the tabard there is the tabard of the Lore Walkers. I, I don't really know how good this is. I, I feel like the helmet is a little bit odd, especially whenever you look at, like, the uh, the stuff behind it, you know? I don't know, maybe it does look cool with the helmet. What do you guys think? I I'm really kind of on the fence about this one. Part of me really, really likes it, and part of me really, really, really doesn't like it. And I'm not really sure where to go with it. Where to go, it's different. Sword is off-putting. Yeah, I feel that way too. It's a little bit odd. Let's see the mount. The weapon, I think the weapon seems a little bit weird. That's probably why I'm kind of weirded out by it, is I'm not really sure mount's kind of thick. Jesus, that's a big boy. The colors are perfect. And actually, it works. Like, it, it actually it actually does work. Went for the colors? Well, you got the colors really fucking well. I, I think this is good. I like the mount. It fits really, really well. My camera died. That's great. Yeah, I think this is all right. I mean, it's not necessarily great or amazing, but I think the colors are really good and like the theme of it and the helmet there, whenever you're not trying to take like an old God theme, I, I think that does look great. Kale. Oh, wait. I yeah, I just see your mount. Um, I kind of like this. The only thing that's kind of weird is the Tabard. The Tabard is completely fucking plain. But you know what I really think is interesting about that? I think that's a good thing. I think that Tabard being completely plain actually makes this set better than it was originally because it draws attention more to the helmet and then also the belt. This guy actually looks like a genuine hunter. Like he looks like a straight up fucking hunter going out and he's using the, uh, the cloak right there. I like that cloak a lot. This actually looks really, really good, man. It's original. I haven't seen something like this before. And I think that's what I like it so much. I like so much about it is that it's an original set and I haven't seen 50 other fucking versions of it. And I think the tabard really makes that possible. So as a hunter set, I think this is really good. Don't. Don't you do what I think you're going to do. Get on your mount. Don't you do what you think to what I think you're going to do. No mount. All right. He's a tracker. He doesn't use a mount. What do you guys think? Overall, just a decent, well, clean mount. Boots look weird. Yeah, I think the boots are a little bit awkward, but overall, I think that's okay. Uh, I like this set. I think that it's good. Overall, I like it. It's boring. Well, it's not boring. What do you mean? It's great. Like, this is a nice looking set. Everything about it fits together. It looks good. I like it. This is a good looking set. It's not amazing, but it's a good looking set. Let's go to the next one. Ooh. Soul Drassel. 
the Dreamer from the guild, Ordo Corvus. So this is a BDSM Druid. You know, there's Druids of the Claw, Druids of the Flame, Druids of the Bear, Druids of the Owl. This is a Druid of the Chains. And I like that. Druids, of, Druid of the Leather, maybe. I think that's a little bit better. Um, this is great. Straight up, this is fucking great. Um, everything about this fits together really well. And we don't see a lot of Druids like this. And, you know, Blizzard doesn't make gear like this anymore because of whatever the fuck. And so you've got to use, obviously, you know, some of the older pieces. But that's okay. I think this looks really, really good. That helmet right there is a tier 5 helmet for Druids. The shoulders are the wild heart shoulders that come from fucking vanilla WoW. And then that weapon there, of course, is the artifact weapon for Druids as well. The fact that they're using... The fact that they are fucking using the items from vanilla WoW with items from Legion and not having it look like absolute fucking dog shit. That is fucking impressive. War Drassel, this is great. Or sorry, Soul Drassel. This is fucking great. What do you guys think? Yeah, what do you guys think about it? Y'all like it? Yeah, I think this is actually really good. This is not a simp. I'm not being a simp for saying the set is good, okay? This is a nice looking set objectively, and I think that it fits together really well. The only thing that I might not really like about it a whole lot is the gloves. I think the gloves are a little bit out of place. Let's see them out. Activated the Raven Ward. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Ruined? You guys don't like the Raven Ward. I mean, here's the thing, right? Is that this set isn't supposed... Like, what was she supposed to get on? Like, uh, like... Really, what was she supposed to get on? Th this is basically... Like, it's a druid set, guys. The Raven Ward is like the unofficial druid mount. Like, back in the day, only druids could use the Raven Ward. This looks completely fine. Now, I will say this, and chat, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a bomb. I'm gonna throw you a bone, all right? It's not going to win. Okay, it's not going to win. Next, Yellow Dwarf of Iron Forge from the Guild Ninja Pirates from Space. Uh, I kind of like this one, honestly. I, uh, so those are the Heritage Armor shoulders. Uh, the weapons right there are from Dark Animus. The helmet right there comes from Siege of Orgrimmar for rogues. The belts from the Antorus set for rogues as well. The gloves there, or sorry, the boots there are from the Heritage Armor for dwarves as well. I like this, especially whenever he has the face... Uh, the face paint that's the same color as the paint on the, uh, or the blood that's in the anima things. I like this a lot, man. What do you think, Yellow Dwarf? We want to get on a mount? Ooh, the Firelands Cloak. Wow. Holy shit. This guy's a member of the Bloodhammer Clan. Bro, the, the mount sucks, but, like, the set is really, really good. Like, I, I really, really like this set a lot. I don't know why you didn't get on that one at the beginning. I don't know what the fuck you were thinking. But regardless, this is real. Was between these two Rams? Yeah, the second one's way better. But we always have to pick the first one because that's what's fair, okay? Uh, same icon. Oops. To be fair, it is the same mount. So I'm going to let that one pass because it is the exact same mount. It just got re-updated. Okay? Because like it just doesn't really seem like it would make sense to get on the other one. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to let that one go. Because uh, it is the same name. Well, no, no, it's not cheater. Look, look, guys, look, look. It's literally the same fucking thing, dude. Like, he got on the wrong one. It's the same exact fucking name, basically. I'm not going to hold that against him. It's fine. But from now on, guys, make sure that you get on the right one. I don't want to see any more of this bullshit happening. Yellow Dwarf, this is really, really good set. Okay, Tiny Tron. All right, yeah, I see it, dude. Let's go to the next one. Oh. It's Tony the Tiger. Skullbroder. It's good to see you again, Asmon. The unrelenting on any... Wow. Wait, are you from EU? Wait, no. Are you from EU? This is one of the better sets that we've seen. This is... This is actually one of the better sets... Uh... This is so sad, guys. How are you doing? How do you do this to yourselves? 
okay, let's look at this here. All right, so the shoulders and the uh, and the belt there, and I think also the legs are all from the old deer set. Uh, the weapon here comes from, I think, Freehold. And then the tabard is the tabard of the wardens from, uh, what is this called? Uh, tabard of the wardens from Legion, obviously like the warden's tabard. It's not really too big of a deal. Get that EU trash out of here. No, we're not gonna do any of that. Okay, he got in fair and square, and the gloves are from the Antorus Rogue set. I kind of like this. I, I think it's actually really good. It's very unique. I think like all the leaves on her head do make it look a little bit more special too. Yeah, I like this. The boots are kind of, oh, look at the boots. I didn't even notice that. Look how badly they're clipping, dude. Look at that clipping shit. Look at that shit. I don't think we're going to be able to handle this, man. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. This is not looking good for me. I do it. It's just, it's not, oh, it's not looking good. All right, let's see the mount. Which one even is this? I forgot even what this is. Coltiran Charger. Oh yeah, this is the Coltiran uh, class mount. Oh, I don't know, man. Like it's so close to being good, but I don't know if it actually is good. It does not match. I don't think that it matches perfectly. I'll say that for sure. I think that it's okay, but I don't think that it's necessarily like fucking awesome or anything like that. Needed a brown horse? Yeah, I feel like the white horse just doesn't really fit with the rest of the set because you have like a more of a dark set and then the horse is like pure white. Like if you use something like the, uh, maybe like the Duskwood one, not Duskwood, uh, the Dressfar one, I think that would be probably a better option, but it's hard really to say. Uh, I do like it. I think it's okay. The armor set is definitely better without the mount though. Imperion, the Lightbringer from the guild Ever Dreaming Fan Club. Oh, shit. Cataclysmic Gladiator's helmet, gloves, and legs. The shoulders, the belt, and also the boots there from LFR Emerald Nightmare. The weapon there that's a BOE item that comes from Battle uh, Battle for Azeroth. And then also the... T I'm a Marine Paladin. A Marine Paladin? Oh, with the... Ang oh, a Marine like you go underwater. Not Marines like you're shooting people. Okay. Um... It's okay, I guess. I mean, it's completely okay, I would say. Two sets are lame. Yeah, I think that it's a little bit lame too. Imperion, I want you to listen to me right now, okay? Listen to me right now. You, you see me? Okay, I see you. All right. Now, that's so fucking gross. All right, get on a mount. Get on a fucking mount, dude. Get on a fucking mount, dude. If you're a marine paladin, why the fuck are you flying on a bird? I feel like this little it looks good, right? It looks good, but it's not doesn't really it doesn't really do it for me, you know what I mean? Like the colors are decent, and let's be honest, like the funniest thing about this, do you want me to ride a dragon? Uh, no, how do dragons go underwater? They're gonna the the fire is gonna go out. They can't breathe fire underwater. That's not how it works. I learned that from Pokemon because Charmander is a dragon and he almost died. Like, yeah, I don't want to have that happen. A seagull? Yeah, a seagull or something like that. That'd be a thousand times better, man. Like, obviously, I think the set looks pretty cool. It's an interesting idea. Um, but I just don't really think that it fully goes all the way. Uh, I think they need to fully commit to something and not really ride a griffin. The griffin in terms of color is great, but not in terms of theme. And if you wanted to find a theme around the set, I think you have to have a mount that matches the theme too. We got Ursok right here. Xanthrius the Dreamer from the guild Roll for Blame. Hmm. Hmm. The Firelands gloves and legs. The shoulders there from uh, Heroic t Throne of Thunder. And then the artifact weapon. Hmm. Now, I'm going to be honest, okay? I'm going to just say it. Somebody has to say it. This is a good set. This set takes no risks. 
This is like making the fourth Spider-Man movie in the past five years. We've all seen it. We know what it's going to be. You're still going to get some people to go along with it and like it. But at the end of the day, it's the same old recycled bullshit. Same story, same shit, different day. Let's see the mount. They can still redeem themselves if they have a good mount. I just, I, I kind of like it in the, the spirit of a churro. I kind of like it, but overall, I just don't really feel like it, it does that well. Like there's nothing else that really says like the mount or sorry, the, the, the weapon looks really good with the mount. I definitely think the weapon looks great with the mount, but everything else besides that, I'm not really fuck off. All right, let's go to the next. See, this is what they fucking do. And, and you know what? You're going to, I'm going to be farming this shit in Shadowlands. And you know what you're going to be farming in Shadowlands? A new set. to may Maybe you'll get in the top five. A goddamn clown, man. What the fuck is this? Man? Titan Slayer Redicus from the Guild Defiant ones. So what we have here is a... Uh, this is... This is basically the way they would draw all female characters in 1980s fantasy. And I really wish that they would do that again. It was great. So this looks really, really good. Obviously, it's probably... I think this is a Death Knight, isn't it? Yeah, it's a Death Knight with the blacked out eyes. And I think that's really interesting too. Using the starting weapon for DKs and all the rest of the pieces right there from Vanilla WoW. Obviously, back whenever it was another time and it was still okay to make chainmail bikinis. So this is really good. I like it. Of course, I think everybody... I think, yeah, the chat likes it too. So let's see the mount. Can I go no mount but show the one that I would use? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, it just won't count. Get off. Get off the mount. Get down from there. Get down. Why did you get on the beefy boy? That's what I thought. But why would you get on the beefy boy? What What is the thought process behind activating the beefy boy? I don't have any good mounts. At least you acknowledge it. It's okay. Redicus, good try. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Hello, Asmund. Your streams are why I started playing WoW again. Thank you for doing these. <laughs> what the fuck? That's really good. This is a fell hunter? Dude, what I like the most about this is the weapon. I never see anybody using this weapon. This weapon comes from Shaw of Fear back in fucking... Is it Shaw of Fear? Yeah, Shaw of Fear in Terrace of the Endless Spring. Using the shoulders and a belt right there and the chest piece from Legion. The helmet there, which is the engineering goggles. That cloak there that comes from, I think, Warrior's Rainer or some other random fucking place. I don't even know. It doesn't matter. This is a nice fucking set. And the fact that you're going to use that gun. That fucking gun. I love it. This is such a massive risk, okay? What does this look down? It looks like a melted down elephant dick. But it works. And that's why I'm so impressed by it. But I was actually gonna I was gonna re-explain what it looked like again, but I'm actually not gonna do that. Um let's go ahead and see the mount. And even the pets work, everything about this works. The green infernal. Okay. That looks... That's big. That is actually pretty fucking big, man. Like, I'm gonna be honest. I, I think this is impressive. I am genuinely impressed by how this looks, man. What do you guys think? I, I think this looks fucking great, man. This is amazing. Green Core Hound looks good. Yeah, I think there's a lot of things that look really, really good here. Best so far? I don't know if it's the best so far, but I think it's one of the best that we'll probably see. Uh, I could see this making it in the top five very easily, unless the people that are in the rest of the competition really kind of pick up their shit. This is great. Sayonara, great work. I'm proud of you. You're a good boy. 
and a great person and an eternal champion. Let's go to the next one. Good work. War Crown of the Deeps from the Guild of Who. Now, if I had to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, I wouldn't be able to because I can't use negative numbers. I see what you tried to do, but unfortunately, I don't think that it's that good. I'm sorry. I think that it's an interesting take. I am always impressed whenever somebody tries to use a judgment piece of gear without the rest of the judgment gear. I think that's really cool. And I appreciate you taking risks. But the problem is whenever you live on the edge, sometimes you fall off. And I'm sorry, Warcrown, but this shit fell right the fuck off. Warcrown, let's see the, uh, let's see the mount. Let's see the mount. You better get on a good mount. If you're gonna tell me you don't have a good mount, why? What the fuck is this? What is this basic ass vanilla shit paladin? What the heck? What's this? Huh? What are you trying to do, War Crown? What's this supposed to be? Like, you almost did really well. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. This was almost one of the best sets in here. But, like, here's the thing we share 99% of DNA with a dolphin. But a dolphin's really, really different than a person, isn't it? That's how different you are from winning. Let's try it again. Medivix from the Guild Alliance Vanguard. Let's go ahead and look at another one. It's true. It's true. Then a chimpanzee? Exactly. Same thing. Doesn't matter. Are you a chimpanzee either? Booba? Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't like this set a whole lot. But I have to ask you guys the question. Am I biased? Because I, most monk sets, I just don't really like them a lot. So I'm trying to ask you guys. Uh, is this... Am, am I biased? I am biased? Okay. I, I can see that... I can see why some people like this. Is it because she has balls on her chin? Is that why you guys like it? Because she has not only one ball, but two balls, right? This is some, you know, some of that going on. That's the whole reason? Yep, that's it. Okay, you know what? Boobs equal win. True. Mavix. Whenever you get on this mountain, I want you to think to yourself, am I about to let everybody down? Do not say yes. Howley would have been perfect, but I don't have it yet. That's the right attitude to have. Let down incoming. Ooh. Look. She did her best. She did her best. You, you're not always going to win all the times that you win. You know what I mean? Sometimes you win and sometimes you just don't fucking win. That's what happened to her. She just didn't fucking win. She did her best. She tried pretty hard. But unfortunately, I don't think this is going to be good enough. Mavix, nice try. Thank you for hosting these, by the way. Of course. Of course. Let's go to the next one. The Horde Slayer from the guild Searing Shadows. Hello, Asmon. Hello. So using the uh, trial of the... Uh, what is this? For? I, God damn it. Uh, it's the Tomb of Sargeras shoulders right there with the helmet and then also the... Uh, I think, yeah, just the helmet from the Legion set for, I think, Nighthold for Hunters. And then the chest piece and also the legs from Trial of Valor. The belt there from Nylotha. And then also, I think... The, I don't know where the gloves and the boots are from. I think the boots are from Lord's Drain where I'm not 100% sure. And let's see what the bow is. Oh, this bow is from Lord's Drain or Five Man Dungeons. Now, I'm not going to say your name again because it's too hard. 
But what I am going to say is that I, I, real, I like this set. I think that it's original, I think that it's different, and I think that it's unique. It's something that you can't really see very often, you can't really say very often. I like that. Battle of Dazar War Boat. Yeah, is it Battle of Dazar War? I don't know if it's that. Cesaris? Well, whatever. Um, this is an original set. I like the eyes on the shoulders combined with the eye on the belt. Chat's being mean? Listen, Chat's not even a real person. It's just the same guy with, uh, with a bunch of different accounts. It it's just one guy, man. Just don't worry about it. Now, let's go ahead and see. Let's see how the mount is. Yeah, it's just one guy. He just has all that programmed in. Don't you fuck this up. Oh. Oh. Wow. This is really good. I think this fits perfectly. What do you guys think? You guys like it? I like it a lot. Yeah, this actually, like, there's almost never a time. This is obviously the Sunhide Gronling that comes from Poundfist and Warlords of Draenor. Warlords of Draenor. I, I think this is perfect. I really do. I think this is absolutely fucking perfect for what he's trying to do. This is great, man. Satharis, I'm impressed very much by this. Great work. Great work. Let's go to the next one. What is this? Farstier Storm Stout from the guild Suboptimal. So this is a pretty common Dwarven transmog that we've seen before. Obviously, this is the shoulders there from Mythic Trial, sorry, Tomb of Sargeras. And uh, the chest piece there from Tier 14. We saw this chest piece earlier. It's for Shamans. The helmet there from Opulence. The gloves and also, I think, the leggings. Oh, no, the leggings there are also from Tier uh, tier 14 as well. The gloves there from the uh, ICC set for Shamans as well. And then the belt there, which is the ice stick belt that comes from the beginning of Legion, using Doomhammer as well. I actually feel like this is a good set. This is like a Storm Queen fucking Wild Hammer Dwarf. What do you guys think about this? Do you guys like it? Yeah, I think the feet are a little bit weird. Like, usually anybody who's not wearing shoes, they hate blue. Well, yeah, I mean, why Why wouldn't they? Okay, like, everybody hates blue. That's why people play Horde now. Uh, it's sad, but there it is. Yeah, I think this is fine. It's a nice chess piece. Yeah, I, I do like the chess piece a lot, too, especially on female characters. It looks great. Scuff Shaman's Tier 2. I think this looks good. Like, straight up, I actually do think this looks really good. It's got its own theme to it, and she even has, like, the face paintings uh, that match the rest of the colors. I think this is a good-looking set. I know some people disagree, but I, I like it, personally. Storm Stout, let's see the mount. The Grove Warden? We haven't seen this one for a long time. The moose is loose. Hmm... Hmm. I don't know, man. Like, you're using a Grove Warden and you've got that armor on. I think that it works kind of well, but what the fuck says Wildhammer about a goddamn moose? Like, you're riding around on a motherfucking moose. Like, yeah, it fits the color, but I don't know if it really works with the rest of the set. I think that, like, any, any dwarf set that you're trying to use to be a dwarf... The motherfucker's got to ride on a griffin, man. You've got to ride on a griffin or on a ram or on one of those, like, class classical mounts, man. If you want to go off the beaten path and try to ride on a motherfucking moose, that's probably not going to work. It's probably just not going to work, man. Like, that's what I think. Have all winners, griffin or nothing. Maybe, like, the Mythic Jane mount, something like that. I'm not a big fan of the moose, though. I'm going to be honest. Not, not a big fan of the moose. Uh, it doesn't hurt to be different. It does if being different is wrong. Gladiator Vex from the guild Simplify. Can you still get this mount? Can you still get this pet, I mean? Raz, can you still get this, or is it taken out of the game? Yeah, you can. So, he is wearing basically a full set. This is the entire Emerald Nightmare set, minus the helmet and chest piece. The chest piece there is the Wrathful Gladiator's Tabard, and then the helmet there is just a random fucking eye patch. Who cares what it is? And he's using Tashalac as well. I'm gonna be honest, I think that it looks really fucking badass, but the problem with that is that it's, it's still just kind of a full set. I mean, let's be honest, it is kind of a full set. So, as cool as it looks, I don't know if it's really gonna be able to be, uh, if, if it'll be transformative enough in order for it to be classified as its own unique thing now let's see what mount he has and maybe he'll be able to uh he'll be able to recover check classic for wowhead changes or wowhead world buff changes uh let me just see real quick while he gets on his mount 
Okay, he got on the same. All right, yeah, that I, that's pretty much what I would expect. The old Rizaji Raptor. That's probably a good idea. So overall, I think this mount does look relatively okay, but it's nothing that's like super crazy or absolutely amazing. It's just a decent looking mount that fits relatively well, and the set itself is a, uh, it's pretty much a full set. I think the mount is in general pretty low res compared to the rest of the set too. Let's go back over to the next one. Insert names from the guild Twisted Winds. Wow. I used to be a druid before I fell for my illa daddy. All right. Look. We hardly ever see people using that sword right there. That's the Fang of Ashara. It comes from SSC. Those shoulders there come from 7.3 dailies that you're able to get in Argus. The belt, the belt there is the class order hall belt for druids. Or sorry for demon hunters and then the helmet there is for druids from old war the tabard is from the tcg set and then all the rest of the pieces are just randomly i think they're mostly like legion items as well and then that tabard there sorry that cloak there comes from cataclysm i think that's one of the dungeon cloaks from cataclysm i think it's from stone core specifically but regardless i think this is an interesting set the the green coloration around the character does really look good and i think that it does kind of make it out to be like kind of a druidic fell set and i kind of like that Especially using the swords and everything like that, too. The swords are really cool. I love these fucking swords. What do you guys think? You guys like it? I like it, personally. Let's see the mount. I wanted to go for a yellow demon hunters. I don't really see it very often. Yeah, it's pretty uncommon. Nah. Uh, uh, it's just... I don't know, man. I, it's just not... It's not that great. Yeah, it, it's just, it's not really. I, it's all right. Okay, I'm not saying it's bad. But I, oh, you got to get on a different mount now. You're going to get on the fucking Phoenix from the Mr. Pandaria Challenge Mode Silver set. Yeah, sure. Okay, insert names. Listen, it's an okay set. It's a, it's a decent set. It's a good story, etc. But the mount just sucks dick. I mean, like, let's be honest. The mount sucks dick. That's usually where a lot of people fall off is the mount. They can't really understand and appreciate and be able to play at a high enough level to understand uh, mount metas. So it's okay. A lot of people don't get that. It'll take time. Mount is good. Some people like it. Some people don't. Let's go to the next one. Thanks of the stream, dude. Thanks, dude. Stylus Stormfalls from the guild. Ain't got time to bleed. Okay. It's weird with like the leggings because the leggings are so plain, it draws attention to how extravagant that the helmet and the chest piece and the shoulders are. And then you're using the gloves right there. I think this is like a mage set, isn't it? Yeah, it's a mage set. That, that, those gloves are from, I think, Antorus, or they could be also the PvP offset. I, I kind of like this though. Like one thing I want to say is that it's original. Like we haven't seen a set that looks like this in a long fucking time. Stormfalls, I'm impressed about that. A lot of times we have people come in here with the same old busted, beat up, basic ass bullshit. But you're in here and you're doing a good job. I like it. I think this is good, even though it's not necessarily the most uh, extravagant or badass looking set. But overall, it's good. Now, Stormfalls, I want you to, I'm going to ask you a question. Are you about to get on a mount that's going to disappoint all of chat? Are you about to disappoint chat right here? Tell me the truth. 100%. All right. Let's do it. Let's get it out of the way. Let's just get it out of the way right now. Let's go. <sighs> Let me show what you did with your chances, okay? I'm going to show what you did with your chances. not good storm falls we've got to do a better job next time this isn't enough it isn't good enough uh you clean something up oh i actually took it out of the garbage can to put it down so i could put it back in the garbage can on stream but that's okay 
Storm falls cause me to clean up my room. That's how fucked up your set is, is you're changing the course of history and the course of the way that the world should work. I should not be cleaning anything up. Storm falls. Decent set, terrible mount. Falcosaurs don't work. I slay dragons, enough said. Huh. Fury Warrior hidden artifact appearance for his weapons. Shoulders there, and also the, yeah, just the shoulders there from the Antorus Mythic set. Helmet there from the LFR version of uh, of Dragon Soul. The chest piece, the legs, and then also the gloves there are all from the Tumor Sargeras Warrior set. And then he's using the belt, which is from the original uh, Black Temple set for Warriors as well, which is designed to go with the set that he's wearing as well. And then the boots there are from, that's from a fucking Wrath of the Lich King 5, man. What the fuck? This actually looks pretty fucking good. Can you, take, can you put the weapons away again so we can see the rest of the set? This is pretty fucking good. It's original. I have never seen somebody using this set before, and I think that especially whenever you don't count in the boots. Like, these boots are a sore thumb on any set, okay? And this is no different. But if you just look at them from, like, the, uh, from the knees up, okay? From the knees up, this looks really, really fucking badass, man. This guy looks like he's, like, a character in a Dark Souls game or something like that. This is fucking badass, man. He didn't skip leg day. He skipped boot day. All right, Aragok. I like this set a lot, so I really don't want you to fuck this up. Please do not get on a bad mount. Please don't get on a bad mount. Please. He's gonna get on a dragon mount. We all know that, but like, what's it gonna be? Hmm. Hmm. How'd you slay the dragon? If it's alive. Why didn't you get on the smoldering ember worm? Because at least that one's dead. I don't know wizards and shit, but you're a warrior. You're not a wizard. How does that work? I thought he was going to get on the Karazhan mount. You got an answer for that? I guess not. Let's go to the next one. Great set. He doesn't have- Wait, you don't have- That's a 20% mount! What the fuck, dude? Like, just go get it! Just go- Just go get the mount! It's not even hard! Alright, let's go to the next one. Dude, I'm gonna get him right fucking now, dude. I I'm so fucking tired of this shit, man. Why like, I can't fucking believe this. Like, look at this bullshit. Purple equals win. Well, too bad your head's orange. He looks like a fat ass fairy. What the fuck? It wh what is this? Really? That's what it is. A fat ass, fat ass tiger. Fa God damn. Oh, oh, come on. No. What is... No, man. Oh, my God, man. God damn it. I don't know what to say. This is... I, I, he's using the... It's the store shoulders. It's the store... And look at the belt. Look at the little fucking belt, man. Oh, my God. Listen. I said this four years ago whenever I started streaming. What did I say four years ago about him winning? What did I say about it? Do you guys remember? Does anybody remember what I said? I will remind you what I said. He's not going to win. He's never going to win. It's not going to happen. Not today, not tomorrow, not next week, not ever. He's never going to win. This is not going to fucking happen, man. This is this. We're stopping the count. Yeah. This is fucking ridiculous, man. I can't even believe it.
I, I, I don't know what to say about this. I just, I, 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 I'm just going, I'm going to, uh, yeah, oh, he's got to get on his, oh, uh, Stop it, guys. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No, 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 no. No. He's not winning. Look, he's protecting himself. Uh, this is too much for me. I, I can't handle it. I, I, I cannot. I, I've got to move on. I've got to, I have to move on. Dragon Slayer Elrius. This is actually really good. I like this a lot. That's the Deadly Gladiator's faceplate. The shoulders right there from Mythic Nighthold for Warriors. The gloves and also the boots right there from um, uh, Heroic uh, to, uh, to fucking uh, to, uh, tri uh, to Thunder. Throne of Thunder. And then also the weapon right there for I think that's the uh, Balance of Power quest line for uh, Arms Warriors. And then the cloak is the Parrot Feather Cloak that comes from uh, Freehold. It's the first boss in Freehold. And then that belt right there I think is one of the Wrath of the Lich King PvP belts with a tabard there of course coming from the Wormrest Accord. So Elrius, you guys may or may not remember, did a quest line for me quite a while ago. Go back to the tiger. What do you want me to look at the tiger? No, we're not going back to the tiger. Elrius did a quest line for me a while ago. In between, and, and Elrius, since those quest lines were taking such quite a long time, Elrius has replaced doing quest lines with doing quests on Reddit for Reddit Karma. And so every few days, Elrius posts a new post on my Reddit about, guess what? Me being bald. See? That... See? Uh... This is... This is my life. This is what I have to deal with. This is the world that I live in. Getting made fun of for being bald while I play a video game all day. What an adventure. What an absolute incredible adventure. Elrius. I don't know what to say. But let's see them out. Don't you even fucking think about getting on the, on that Obsidian World Breaker again. That you've got on the last three times. Don't even think about it. Do not even consider it. Do not even go, oh, maybe I could. No, you can't. You cannot get on that mount. That is the mount that you cannot get on. You do not get on that mount. See, now he's like, oh, fuck. He knows me. He knows what I'm going to get on. How am I going to slay dragons if I can't fly? I don't know. Like, jump a heroic leap. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. It's not a dragon. It's a proto-dragon. Shoulder plates. I like the shoulder plates. You're right about that. That does look pretty good. I like the helmet and shoulders combination a lot. I love that helmet. It's one of my favorite helmets in the entire game. Overall, I think this is decent. Yeah, this is actually pretty fucking good. Elrius, I like it a lot. Good work. I'm proud of you. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to go to the next one. Good job. Hey, quit running around. Go sit in your fucking chair. Go sit down. Class is in session. Dezu the Fearless in the Guild West Coast Gaming. Dezu, how can I explain how basic and boring your set is without being mean? Just kidding, I don't care about being mean. Your set sucks dick. This is a trash set. It is a boring five time over. We've seen this straight up. I can't see? Bruh, I know that. <laughs> I can tell. Like, trust me, I can't tell, man. This is a boring ass piece of shit. And I don't really just say that lightly. This is a, I'm gonna say it one more time. Boring ass piece of shit. It sucks, Dezu. Let's see the mount. It sucks. Dezu, get off the mount. Get off the mount. Get, get, get off. You need to open your eyes. You need to respect. You need to re... Wait, what the fuck? You can see inside their eyes? Wait, what the fuck? Did you see that? Oh my god, that's, that's creepy as fuck. Desu, listen to me. Can I do that? 
Oh, it doesn't really quite work. Okay, I'm not tall enough. Regardless, Dezu, listen. This set's just shitty, man. It, we've seen a hundred... Yeah, that actually... The worst part about it... Think about this. If your set is so bad that someone throwing an orange at you actually makes it look better in terms of its color theme, then it's a problem, okay? Dezu, we have to see a better set next time. This is... At least I have hair. Well, yeah, of course you do because you're 14. Let's go to the next one. Private pesting. I'm gonna guild hentai. I wish. Listen, this is decent enough, I'd say so. It's fine. I mean, overall, I think this is a nice looking uh, druidic set. It's nothing particularly amazing or it doesn't really take a whole lot of risks. Uh, I think that the, um, the tabard, tabard is not really that great. And I also don't really know how the shoulders are going to fit in, but I actually do kind of appreciate the usage of them. Because you usually look at these shoulders as not druidic shoulders, because, you know, it's like a fucking, it's got skulls and shit on it. But I think this actually fits pretty well together. Using, obviously, Ganeer, which is the restoration druid artifact weapon, and I like that too. That looks great. And overall, I think this is a decent looking set, although it's not necessarily amazing. It doesn't take a whole lot of risks, but it's just another basic, it's another Spider-Man movie. That's what it is. This set is just simply, it's another Spider-Man movie. Pestily? Pesty? Let's see them out. Mysterious egg. What? Oh, the green proto-drake. So, so that egg's gonna be a green proto-drake? Is that what you're telling me? I'm gonna be honest. If you get in, if you use the green proto drake, I would have actually liked the set. I think the green proto drake is a great choice for what you're doing, and you should have used that. And so just wait for your egg to hatch, and it's going to be the mount for sure, man. Trust me. I've got a lot of experience with getting mounts for sure. So good job, Pesty. I come with dire news. Yeah? Upon the shattering of the Helm of Domination, I was expunged out of the Shadowlands as a Maldraxian champion who has peered into them all, only to tell the world one warning to come within the next month. And what warning is that? What warning is that? That Shadowlands will be good, but not that good. <laughs> I need to lay down, guys. That's fucking, that's, that's so sad. <sighs> Is that really what's gonna happen to us? The Shadow End's just gonna be good, but not that good. Is that the world that we live in here? Is that the life that we live? That sucks, man. Helius. Can I be honest? I fucking love this set. I think this is one of the most original and coolest looking sets that I've seen in a long time. Some of chat might not understand, but I do. I think this is an incredibly well done set. Chat. Chat. Thinks that I'm wrong. Here's why I'm not wrong. This is a combination of five different sets. That helmet right there comes from ZA. Those shoulders right there are the black... Uh, backbreaker sabatons or shoulders where the fuck they are they come from spine of deathwing on heroic the gloves and also the belt right there both come from uh battle of the czar lore those boots there i can already tell i am pretty sure those boots come from tomb of sargeras but i could be wrong about that the chest piece comes from lfr version of nathendria in emerald nightmare and then the weapon, of course, is the artifact weapon appearance for an unholy DK. Look at the combination of colors on his shoulders and on his weapon and on his helmet. He's using bones from three different sets that all fit together that all have relatively the same structure. This is an incredibly well done set. The mount itself works, not mount, excuse me. The, the weapon itself works incredibly well. The cloak looks good. This is an amazing fucking set. I love this. This is awesome. The helmet doesn't match? I think that it does. I, I think the helmet matches perfectly. This is incredible. I, I, I love this. Helrius. Please don't make me look like an even bigger asshole than people already think I am. Get on a good mount.
So let's, let's just go ahead and let's take a little step back here and let's look at what the options are and where we're at. So we're talking about a, we're talking about a Maldraxian champion. Now I've seen a little bit of Shadowlands beta. I've played a little bit of it. How many fucking dragons are there in Maldraxxus? How does it make any sense for you to use the Drake of the West Wind with a set that's supposed to be on Mal Like, I, I went against chat. I, I went- I, Man, I took a risk for you, man, and you want to get on that shit? You're gonna get on that shit mount? You're gonna get on that shit mount? What are you doing? How could you get on that shit mount? Oh my god, dude. Yeah, fucked up? Too fucked up, man. You gotta try again, man. Cleaning that mount off your screen? Thank you. I will allow that one to happen. I, I will allow that one to happen, Elrius. Thank you, I appreciate that, Bash Cutter. Elrius, Elrius, this is one of the coolest looking sets that I've seen in a long time, man. Don't want anybody to tell you any different. But if anybody tells you that your mount doesn't suck, they're, they, they are the ones that are lying. Now, we have an interesting set right here. And we have basic-ass, generic, boring paladin that we've already seen 300 times before right here. Now, please tell me, Digital, what's different about your set? What's different about your paladin set that every other paladin set doesn't do? Class worker hall helmet, shoulders from Mythic Tomb of Sargeras, the gloves and the boots right there. The gloves are actually, yeah, both of these items are both from the, uh, the... Uh, the first, like, I think it's from the Stromgard Warfront, and then the legging, sorry, chest piece there is from Normal Mode and Athendria, and then also the weapon, of course, is the Ashbringer. So, I'll explain what makes you different than all of the other Paladin Transmogs really quickly. It's only one word. Nothing. That's what makes you different. This is the exact same set that we've seen a hundred times before. How many other Paladin sets do you think that you've come in here with that have seen the exact same thing, that look the exact same way? This is the same shit that we've seen a hundred fucking times before, man. You really think this is impressive that you're going to come in here with these shitty-ass scuffed fucking gloves with your golden set? This doesn't even match at all. Digital. This is not good. It's basic. It's not original. Let's see the mount. Let's see his mount. Oh, wow. The Swift Alliance Steed. From the original trial of the Grand Crusader Tin Man. For completing tribute to insanity. Okay. Here's the facts. See, chat is not impressed by this. Because they don't know what it is. Now, you have a mortal, which means that you probably raided a lot in, uh, in, in, uh, in Wrath of the Lich King. But this mount came... This is an original, very hard to get mount. I bought this mount off of another warrior in my guild for 28,000 gold. I spent every cent that I had to buy this mount off of him on the last day that this mount was in the game, man. So yes, I appreciate this mount a lot, but here's the problem, that having a cool mount, having an original mount is great, but is that necessarily something that makes the set any better? It's hard to say. 28,000 gold for a horse? It was a great fucking investment back then. Let's go to the rest of the mounts, or the rest of the sets. Renor of the Nightfall from the Guild Corgi's out. I had to take a piss. I like this set a lot. Yeah, I, I actually like this set. This is good. Now, Renoir. I kind of like this. I think it's a nice looking set overall. And um, honestly, I think it looks good. Like, all the colors look good. Everything about this looks really nice. And I like how dark and how rich the colors are. I like how black the black is. And that's something that I don't get to say a whole lot, but I do like it a lot. Purple equals win. This is black. It's not purple. The colors are really, really good about this. Everything about this is perfectly fitting together, and there's nothing that's really wrong with it. What do you guys think? Did you wash your hands? Why would I wash my hands? I got a clean dick. Why would I do that? Purple is boring. I don't think that it's boring at all. I think this looks really good. Renoir, I like it a lot. Let's see the mount. Okay. Okay, dude. All right, there we fucking go, dude. That looks really, really fucking nice, man. That's the uh, the Lucid Nightmare right there with the mount. That is one of the first options possible. For, uh, best option possible. Do a nice picture to get this mount. 
Well, it certainly fucking worked, man. This is a really, really nice choice. I like it a lot. Good work. Let's go to the next one. Oh, shit. Archmage Jakar, so I'm gonna go Faith of the Fallen. With the helmet right there from the Mythic, uh, Mythic Old Deer set with the chest piece and the gloves from the same place with the waist of time and the shoulders from Mythic Tomb of Sargeras and the weapon that's, uh, which weapon is this? This is the Aluneth weapon that comes from the Mage Tower appearance back in Legion. This is really fucking badass. This is big dick. This is, this is big dick. Uh, I really like it a lot. This is fucking amazing. He looks like a priest. This is like a fucking... Uh, this is like a space priest. This is like some fucking tit like Titan Keeper space priest, man. This is fucking awesome. Tracaris, let's see the mount. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's see him. Hopefully they're gonna get it right. Let's see if they do. I think it matches in terms of theme. The thing is, like... Honestly, if anybody can use this mount, I feel like they can. Yeah, if anybody can use this mount, I feel like they can. Like, this actually looks really good. Now, overall, I do think that, like... The problem with mounts like this, it's the same thing as, like, the Fell Steel Annihilator, right? Is that they're so involved, and there's, like, almost no way that the character actually looks any different, right? If you're a mage, or you're a priest, or you're a druid, or you're a, a warlock, if you sit in the Fell Steel Annihilator, it's gonna look the fucking same. Yeah. Honestly, I really hate to say this, but the heart of the aspects with this mount with this set looks absolutely fucking incredible. Like, this is just, this actually, like, I, I'm gonna have, like, this is so good. Like, I, I, this is so fucking amazing, man. I didn't want to storm mount it. Yeah, I don't, I did good, good. I, I'm glad you didn't. But regardless, I do think that the other mount does look uh, good too. I, I like it a lot. Good job, Dukaris. Let's go to the next one. Storm mounts are allowed. Reptilian of the Black Harvest from the Guild Hero Academy. The shoulders right there come from uh, heroic. Tr uh, there's so many T mounts. Tomb of Sargeras, Trial of Valor, Throne of Thunder, which is where this is from. I always fucking confuse my head, man. And then the weapon, of course, is the artifact ap appearance weapon that comes from Affliction Warlocks from the uh, 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 the uh, Mage Tower. Yeah, it's uh, it's too many of them, man. And uh, I don't know. I mean. Uh, What do you guys think? I mean, we've seen a lot of these before. I just don't really know if it's original enough. Reptilian, let's see the mount. Class, yeah. That's a really good mount. Like, that's actually, that is the perfect mount. Like, I'll say that for sure. That is the absolute fucking perfect mount to have for this. Reptilian, I like this a lot. It fits really well with what you're trying to do. I just really wanted to use this scythe. Well, I don't blame you. I think that it's a really nice looking scythe. I like it a lot. Yeah, this looks really, really good. Uh, what do you guys think? You guys like it? I think it looks fucking badass. Scuff Renoir? I don't know about... Yeah, Scuff Renoir? No, no. It's a, it's a different version, okay? Obviously, they're using the same helmet, though. So, yeah, it does look a little bit different. Reptilian, this does look decent, man. I, I like it. It looks good. Yeah, good work. Crusader Merge from the Guild Integrity. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of like it in a way. With like the shoulders and the helmet. And the chest piece that kind of like flows and the shoulders flow into the chest piece. And there's also the scales on the gloves too. And he has like the dragon scale gun kind of. Or like the dragon looking gun. And then he has the kilt there that looks really nice as well. I kind of like this. In a way, it has its own unique theme to it, and it's almost like if the Thanos wasn't a complete fucking cuck. It matches, but it's boring. I do think that it's a little bit boring, but just because something's boring doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. And I also think that the eyes and the gun and the way that those two things match together are really good too. So Murs, I like this. Now, I'm assuming he's going to get on the class order hall mount, but we'll see if he has something else a little bit more interesting for us. Murs, come on. 
Go ahead. That's decent. That's decent, sure. Yeah, I mean, we don't really see a lot of people using these Phoenixes in general. So I do like it. Yeah, uh, Murs, this is a pretty nice looking set. I like it a lot. Good job. Not amazing, but it's good. <laughs> Immortal. The Uncorrupted. Immortal, can I be honest with you? This set is so fucking close to being good it drives me crazy it makes me mad at you the fact that you had such a great idea using the void edge enchant on tashalak and you squandered it by just creating a ragtag mismatch fucking bunch of gear to go along with it do you really think that the wild gladiator's belt was going to work with these fucking tashalak here this doesn't look like sh this doesn't look like that at all. This was an incredibly great idea for the weapon. I'm going to steal your idea, and hopefully, I'll be able to do it better. And using the the eyeball right above you that matches perfectly with the colors, how how did you how did you mess this up? It's so good in so many ways. In like one way, it's incredibly good in one way, and then all the rest of it is fucking dog shit. Absolute fucking dog shit. God damn it, man. I don't know why my cam keeps dying. It does this every once in a while. Who the fuck knows? It doesn't matter. It is what it is. Immortal, I have no Mythic Nihilotha belt on Engineering Horde. Listen. Just because you don't have an item doesn't mean that it's okay to not have an item. Your set is bad until you get the item. Immortal, let's see the let's see the mount. Let's see the mount. All seer. Oh. Oh. This had so much potential, man. This set had so much fucking potential. It could have been so good. Why did you do this? How could you do this to me? Why? It's so it's so close to being amazing. I I'm going to steal your idea. I've got to do it better, man. I have to do it better. Immortal. Great try. Great try. Bullwink, the seeker from the guild cliche. Hmm. 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 I don't know. It's good, but it's also kind of boring. Like, we've seen so many of these, like, hunter, like, feral... Uh, wild savage hunter transmogs that whenever I see a new one it doesn't really impress me that much because we've already seen 10 other ones that look just like it I don't really know how special or how unique this really is it just doesn't really look too amazing to me now let's go ahead let's look at you could say it's cliche yeah I, I was gonna make that joke but I decided not to the joke would have been cliche Buckwick let's see the mount Let's see the mount. Hmm. I think the mount actually matches. All things considered, I think that the mount actually matches. What do you guys think? Uh, I like it. I think this looks pretty good in terms of it mount. Uh, in terms of a mount, I think this is pretty good. This is great. Yeah, I agree. I, I think this looks good. Not too shabby. Yeah. Too bad it isn't purple. Well, if it was, you would have won, according to my chat. So, uh, Buckwick. Thank you very much for coming. I appreciate it. Everybody. You have all been judged. You have all been rated. Now mount up in the form that you wish to be seen on. And I will go around and pick five of you to be the champions of this thing. Let's go. Let's look at our losers and let's pick our winners. This is going to be hard. This is going to be really, really hard. We're trying to look around. We're trying to get a good idea of what we've got here. It's really hard to say. Sasarthus. No. Nope. 
No. 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 Didn't know we could use storm mounts. Well, if you tried to use that one, it would have been even worse. So it's okay. All right. I am ready. For those of you all who are here, this is the first NA transmog comp that we've done in quite a while. Five of you will ascend. Five of you will be chosen the winners. Now. Fifth place. Fifth place goes to a set that I really liked a lot. And it was always good to see somebody trying new things and taking new chances. And because of that, fifth place is going to go to Sayonara the Fearless from the guild Nards of Doom. I really like this set a lot. I think that it took a lot of risks, especially with the weapon. And because of that, I want to give them some acknowledgement and really go ahead and look and see how great they did. This is a really, really nice looking set. And I think they deserve fifth place for it. Congratulations, Sayonara, for fifth place. This is a really, really, really nice set. I like it a lot. Good work. Fourth place. Fourth place. Fourth place. Another set that I liked a lot. I enjoyed that a lot. The state? It does, the state doesn't matter. It's all the U.S. Fourth place is going to go to Tormenting the Uncorrupted from the Guild of Family Business. I like this set a lot. I think that it looks amazing. And I think that Tormenting absolutely deserves some acknowledgement for how good this set is. Zip code, what do you want their address to? Tormenting, this set looks fucking badass. It's a very unique uh, take on it. And I really like the colors on your shoulders and helmet and how they match with the mount. I think because of that, you absolutely deserve fourth place. I like it a lot. Good fucking work. Thank you. Absolutely. Good job. Now. Second place. Second place is a set that at the very beginning, I didn't really know what to think. But as time went on, I really saw it. And especially if I saw the mount, I realized third place yeah he got fourth place that guy Sayonar, tormenting up fourth place and then uh renoir is getting third place right here i love this set i think that the colors are great on it it's solid all black everything about this matches and it looks really 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 good i like this set a lot this is a hundred fucking percent third place i like it a lot boys it's purple well it's because it's good like it's good what do you want me to say? It's good. How is it not? Shut up. Yeah, right. This is, it's a good set. You guys are going crazy over fucking nothing, man. This is a great looking set. Renoir did a great job on it. And I want to give him some acknowledgement for trying so hard. So yeah, you know what? He is getting fourth place for it. Or third place for it. Excuse me. And he's doing very well. Now let's go ahead. We're going to move on to the next one. All right. Second place. Second place. Honestly, I, I really, I, I thought this was really a great way to start everything off. I really did. We're going to give second place to Lunaria. This is an incredible combination of gear. The colors on it are absolutely fucking phenomenal. Everything about this matches together perfectly. The colors are incredible. And Lunaria, first and second place, were such a hard decision for me to make. And I think that, honestly, they're pretty much co-winners. But I really like this set. And the fact that you used Invincible, I said this a few weeks ago, where I said that it was incredibly hard to find a way to match Invincible. And Lunaria did it. Lunaria not only did it, but they did it well. Great fucking work, man. I love this, and that's why you're getting second place for it. This is an incredible great job. Now... First place. First place. First place is going to go to Takaris. I love this set. I think this is absolutely phenomenal. This is an incredible, amazing, awesome fucking set. I haven't seen anybody use this combination before. 
I think this is, uh, as I said before, uh, Lunaria and Dracarys were pretty much neck and neck on this one. It could have gone either way, honestly. I felt like Dracarys' set was a little bit more of a set than uh, than Lunaria's, and Lunaria's had like probably not as quite as good of a color theme as Dracarys did in terms of originality. So it was really hard for me to make the decision, but I think Dracarys definitely does deserve this. I really like the set a lot, and I think they deserve to be acknowledged for how great it is, and I definitely think that you did a good job. I'm officially the two-time. Yes, you are. You've been in here before. I do not remember what set you won with last time, though. I apologize. Stop the count. Wait, stop the count. You want a recount? You want a recount? What do you mean you want a recount? No, there ain't no recounts. We're throwing that out, man. That, that That's getting marked as fucking questionable activity. That's a contested idea. Not true at all. There's no- there's gonna be no fucking recounts, man. We ain't doing no motherfucking recounts. Not gonna happen at all. Dracarys, you did an incredible job. I'm proud of you, and you did great. Stop the count. You need to start counting your calories. How about that? Look at this big old porky panda. Big old porky fairy. Yeah, right. Yeah, fucking right. Justice for Chaz. I've said before. I've said before. This guy is, oh my God. This is not the true winner. This is just not the true winner. It's not gonna happen. I demand a recount. Okay, somehow you're now even lower than you were originally. Gentlemen, these NA transmog comps are always just a little bit of a circus, okay? Let's be honest. They're a little bit of a circus, a little bit of a clown show, and I guess today I'm the ringleader. It is what it is. So we did have a great transmog comp today. I want to say I appreciate everybody coming in and being part of this. It was a great job. We had some really, really good looking sets. Now we are going to do a mount off tomorrow. We will do a mount off tomorrow because I haven't done one of those for a long time. And honestly, pretty close to Shadowlands and we're not going to have another opportunity to do some for a long time. So we are going to do a mount off tomorrow, boys. It's going to be time. We're going to do that. And I'm excited, man, as I know that I'm going to win. It's going to be fucking great. We're going to farm the fuck out of some mounts tomorrow morning. We're going to try to get as many of them as possible. And then whenever we do the mount off, you guys are going to watch your motherfucking boy win and take it home, dude. That's all there is to it, boys. Thank you all very much for coming and being part of the Transmog competition. You guys did a great job. And some of you guys did a much better job than others. But overall, I did like your competitions at your sets a lot. Great fucking work, boys. Thank you guys all very much for watching. I really fucking appreciate it. And until next time, boys. Peace! I can't, I can't get off the screen because I'm on the webcam. Peace!